In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the passenger side blend door actuator on a Honda Accord. If you need any parts, check us out at 1AAuto.com. We'll have to make our way underneath the passenger side dash. In this area, you're going to find a plastic panel. Go ahead and take hold of it and gently give it a tug straight down. Now with that panel out of the way, we have a clear view of the actuator located along the left hand side of the blower box. For this, you'll find you have one electrical connector. It's green. Go ahead and squeeze the locking tab and remove that. Of course, we'll give it a quick check for corrosion. Assuming that looks good, you can set that aside. Continue on to your three Phillips head screws. You'll find that you have two of these along the bottom of the actuator. The third one's a little harder to get to up along the top. I'll start with the top one first. All right, there's one screw. Let's move along to the other two. Now we can do the other two. Here's the second one. Let's get this last one out of here. All right. Once you remove that screw, you can remove the actuator. Okay, let's get ready for installation of our brand new actuator. Now under this area, before we install our blend door actuator, we need to pay attention to the lever where the blend door actuator will slide into. We'll align the lever that's on the actuator with the corresponding hole, slide this in and align each and every one of our three mounting bolt holes as well. We need to have all three of these points aligned. There we are. Once you're sure you have everything properly aligned, continue on with your three mounting screws. Start them all in and then you can snug them up. Keep in mind as you're tightening these, you are only screwing into plastic. We don't wanna strip anything out. We just wanna make sure this is nice and tight. Get that last one up there. Now that we have all three of those tight, let's continue on to our one wiring harness. That's the green connector. We'll slide that right into place. Press it in, listen for a click, double check to make sure it's completely secured. Now we can prepare to install our lower panel on that dash. We'll make sure we align the mounting points. Press it into position. Double check to make sure it's completely secured all the way across. At this point, put the key in the on position and test the actuator functionality. Okay friend, the car's back together. I hope this video helped you. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell so you can be kept up with all of our latest content. Thanks for watching.